Chris Busby is ready, checks with his ARs, and we are ready to get underway here. In the new year, holding so much optimism for Connacht and for Munster, there's going to be lots of change. Back it goes from Delan, it's almost one-handed stuff, but we're... Well, it was a knock-on advantage, but now it's a penalty playing the, the ball on the floor. Well within range, albeit on a, a blustery evening, but no problems whatsoever for Jack Carty and the first points of the evening belong to the home side. Okay, Mike Healy's first appearance since that somewhat controversial game against Connacht at Thoman Park back in October. Clear change of line, four. Struck it pretty well. Tapering off to the left-hand side, but up go the flags. And the repost from the heat. Trying to suck in two or three Munster defenders. Now they go to Arnold and Delan. Really good. Now Bumdiaki. Marmion, where's the support? Arriving just in time. Really good hands from Sammy Arnold. Good pop off the floor from Kieran Marmion as well. Mac Hansen in there now, but he's giving offering width on this left-hand side. Good carry again by Bielham. Good strong Munster defence initially. Again, it's very flat. High risk. Green. High premium. May have been a knock on in there again, but it's Munster ball. Again, it's a, an unforced it's error, a handling error from Connacht in that red Stay zone, back. in the 22 that lets them down. They've had all the possession and all the territory. Hansen. Inside. Oh, he's been charged down. Opportunity here now, potentially. Hacked over the line. Can they touch it down? Around comes Andrew Conway. And Conway gets in for the score out of absolutely nothing from that Mac Hansen charged on. You always think his first notion is to run, and he just took a little bit too much over the kick. And Andrew Conway does not miss from that kind of range. His 49th try in Munster colours. And then just see, they thought it more time than they actually had. Great block down from Healy. And now you see both wings, Daly and Conway, you know, working hard and, and they get the scraps. Really good defence, but they've strayed offside. The line was quickly off the line, but there's another penalty coming here. I think it's against Oshin Doyle, maybe. Now, what's the decision here from Chris Busby? Offside. And that's a man to the bin, and it is Oshin Doyle. Numbers on this near side, and there's a massive tackle coming in that time from Farrell. And we might just have a little bit of a look at that. But it's still dangerous, it's yellow card. I think Chris Farrell have no argument with that. He's a very clean player, he's very physical. But you know, when you have head contact like that, um, you're, you're taking a big chance. And, um, I think one should be pretty relieved that's only a yellow. The vast majority of those assembled in the sports ground in Galway feels that Munster have got off a little bit lightly there at Chris Farrell. But on another day that might have been red, but could have proved to be a galvanising moment for Connacht Knight if they do feel slightly aggrieved. Are they going to get to the line? They do! Huge surge, and last up with the ball is going to be Bundiaki. Connock sees the advantage of the man advantage straight away. And we're back level with a conversion to come, and it's game on and goal. Yeah, Van Graan now is going to try and freshen things up. Looks like he's bringing on the, the full bench here to try and give Munster a little bit of lift. I think Munster would be disappointed that they haven't really fired a shot. Well, I struck that really nicely, and it just creeps in beside the left upright, and a huge roar goes around the sports grind. But Conor Fitzgerald will kick this up into the stands, and that will be that. Conor, who've struggled so many times in recent years against this opposition, and who felt at Tobin Park back in October that they came out on the wrong side of one or two big decisions. Well, they've come out on the right side, ultimately, of the scoreline tonight.